I'm Victoria Caetano. I am a senior biology major, psych minor here at JU, and I hope to go on to medical school after JU. I was born with this very rare neural tube deformity called spina bifida. I had my first surgery when I was just a few weeks old. I always kind of grew up in the hospital, surrounded by doctors. My parents were very positive people, still are, always have been. They always treated me like there was nothing wrong with me. They never limited me or told me that I couldn't do something because of my spina bifida. JU was the first school that accepted me when I was going through the college process in high school. I got a really nice scholarship from them, so I decided, hey, why not go visit it? It was actually about four days before I had a really serious spinal surgery. So me and my mom were like, well, why not? Let's just fly down and check it out. We came down to JU, and the second I was on campus, I just knew this was it. I just really connected with the campus. The next day, I had my surgery. I was in the hospital for about three months. I actually remember it was National Decision Day for colleges. I still was paralyzed. I was paralyzed for about three months then. So I had my mom get me my JU crew neck that I had bought when I visited JU. And I put it on and I actually have a photo of me laying in bed with my JU crew neck on, being like, this is where I'm going. They told me I wouldn't make it to my freshman year of JU, but I was like, no, I'm going to JU, and I'm going to prom in three weeks. Are you proud of her, Dr. Akashan? I'm very, very proud. Seriously, I'm very proud of her. Unbelievable. So I do have days where I'll wake up and, you know, my legs just aren't working right that day, and I just can't go to class, but it's never held me back in any way. I was very fortunate and very blessed to get the scholarships I did. I'm gonna be able to graduate at the end of this year debt-free and go to medical school. And hopefully within the next five years, I'll be a doctor. I would love to go into pediatric neurosurgery or pediatric urology. I think I bring a lot of empathy to the table because I get it, because I was that kid. I was that patient on the um, operating table. So I know what it's like, I know the stress. I saw how my family was affected by everything that I went through. So I think that not only empathy, but genuine understanding too. I would love to be someone that inspires a young girl or young boy with spina bifida to really just go after what they want because I was told numerous times growing up that I wouldn't really achieve much, I wouldn't amount to much, I wouldn't walk, I wouldn't talk. I think it really has helped me see that the only person that's ever stopping you from achieving your goals and your dreams is you. So don't get in the way of yourself. Just push yourself as hard as you can. I'm Victoria Caetano, and I'm a future maker.